Greenwich is now the capital district of what is now officially called the Royal Borough of Greenwich since 2012. In terms of domes around the world, the Manelium Dome is the biggest. The dome is 365 metres in diameter and 52 metres high, with those 12 yellow supporting poles running through it. This represents days, weeks and months of the year. The Emirates airline looks quite slow, but it takes 10 minutes to cross the water and they double that speed in rush hour for the commuters. The Kite Sark was built in 1869 and sailed from London to Shanghai the next year, full of wine, beer and spirit exports. It came back from Shanghai full to the brim with over a million pounds of tea. The Greenwich Foot Tunnel took three years to build from 1899 to 1902. The very industrial steel panel section at the north end of the tunnel is the result of steel repairs after Second World War bomb damage. The tunnel is classed as a public highway which means by law it must be kept open 24 hours a day, every day. The name Greenwich dates back more than 1100 years. The green part of the name is self-explanatory but the niche or witch part refers to a harbour or trading place. Greenwich has a lot of restaurants, markets, pubs, places to see and things to practically do and partake in. Of the 32 London boroughs, there are four with royal status. For 80 years, there were only three, but Greenwich was allowed to join the club to become the fourth in 2012 by order of the Queen. Greenwich once tried to apply for city status to become the city of Greenwich, but that got refused. Greenwich is very well connected by transport. There are a lot of bus routes connected by a central bus station, boat services to central London, and five different types of train stations serving different parts of the district. Greenwich Park itself has always had royal status along with Green Park and Hyde Park and some others. Some of the trees you can see in the park are over 350 years old. King Edward II asked Christopher Wren to design the Royal Observatory for some serious astronomy. They built it in 1675 for £520 and it's still the largest telescope in the UK. Public standards of length on the wall in the park physically demonstrate precise lengths from the imperial measurement system. Before the observatory, there wasn't really any official standardised way of measuring time around the world. Over centuries, sailors decided it made sense to sync their clocks to the already established Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT, which is now just known as Universal Time. 